Now, I've told y'all over and over that despite their mean mugs and their yo, 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 homie G, bullshit, abonics, all the tough talk, all the shit they do to each other, deep down inside, they're snowflakes. Today, we're going to be talking about a snowflake teacher who sued a student, a 10th grade student, because he left a banana on the floor. I'm JB Gunner. This is JB Gunner TV. Let's do it. My intentions are to be live tonight from 6 to 8 p.m. That's the intentions over on the JB Gunner backup channel, which uh, you guys pretty much know the link to. If you don't, I really don't give a fuck. Uh, but you guys should be subscribed to all of my channels. You will see them in the description box at the, all my links. You guys will be able to find it. Also, find my Odyssey and my Rumble because that's where I put a lot of videos I can't put here on YouTube because YouTube is constantly striking me. So that's also where you'll see my archive videos starting to pile up. I got a lot of videos to still put over there. But today what we're going to be talking about is this snowflake that you see right here in the image above my show. Older, this man has decided to sue a child because the child left a banana on the floor. Now, oddly enough, there is one group of people that seems to take the ooh, ooh ah, ah, the monkey thing seriously, even though science has said we all evolved from monkeys. We all resemble monkeys, but there's one group of people that holds on to it like, no, you mean us when you say monkey. Maybe. Black Virginia high school history teacher sues white 10th grade student for harassing and taunting him by leaving a banana in the doorway of his classroom. Joel Mungro is his name, a history teacher at Minchville High School for 21 years. Starting in October 2021, he noticed a banana placed in his classroom doorway. The incident could have been written off as a coincidence, but the banana was placed in the same spot at least once a month during a six-month span, so six times. Bananas have been weaponized by racists towards black people, meant to liken them to monkeys who are known to eat the fruit. Now, hold on. Like I said, science call says, well, my ooh, ooh, ah. It is what it is. Don't you have a fucking sense of humor? Like, why are y'all so soft and weak and pathetic? It's a kid. But he called me a monkey. He didn't call you anything. He left a banana just in case you were hungry. I don't see nothing wrong with this. Mungo, Mungo turned to school administrators to tell on the little boy who pulled up surveillance footage of one of his white 10th grade students walking down the hallway with the fruit. The racist act has disturbed Mungro so much that he is now pursuing legal action. That's right, suing a kid. I'm just fed up with the racism around, especially at our academic institutions. Hold on, ain't you motherfuckers the cocksuckers spreading, teaching CRT and constantly talking about race? You're a history teacher, right? I'm sure you talk about race all the time. I'm sure you implement CRT into your historical teachings all the time. And now you're mad because someone may or may not like your message. Let's call it what it is. This is, it's legal, 100% legal to leave someone a banana. It is 1,000% legal to leave someone a snack, snacky treat. A black West Virginia, uh, Joe Mungro, a veteran history teacher who has worked at Menchville High for 21 years, noticed the banana. Someone left a banana at my door. The banana was perfectly placed in the doorway, Mungro told Wavy 10. Wavy 10. You know what? Let's get to the video. Let's go. Tonight, a local history teacher is suing one of his former students after multiple acts of racism against him. Only on 10, Michelle Wolf sits down with the Newport News Education. You're not going to win that case. Leaving you a treat, leaving you a snack. It's going to be hard to prove that's harassment or racism. Because if he would have left you cupcakes, would you have been able to sue? The answer is no. It's your own perception that is leading you to this. 
That's why I don't think he can win this lawsuit. What say you guys in the audience? As he describes what happened to him. In his 21 years as a history teacher at Menchville High School, Joel Mungo has never seen anything like it. Stop being left a banana at my door. The banana Ooh. was perfectly placed uh, in the doorway of my door in the hallway. Ooh, ah, ah. That's a beautiful image. You're suing for that, man? I guarantee you're a leftist. I guarantee you're probably a homosexual. You're soft, man. You're weak as fuck. You're going to sue a child because he left you a snack. Because you think that a white kid leaving you a snack means he's a racist. Instead of thanking the kid for the banana and ooh ah and your ass down the road, you want to sue the kid for leaving you a snack. Go shared images with us that were taken two weeks ago. He's not going to win this lawsuit. It happened in October. It happened. A, it's a kid. You're not going to win because of that. B, how are you going to sue somebody for leaving you a treat? Once a month, and the last occurrence happened last week. A banana always in the same spot in Mungo's classroom doorway. So it was oh no. clearly a deliberate act. After the sixth time Mungo told 10 on your side, enough was enough. Mungo reported the problem to Menchville administration, who pulled up surveillance video and found the student responsible. Not only is this motherfucker suing, he went to the news. He went to the fucking news to tattle. My kids are bullying me and got in and giving me treats. 10th grader in one of Mungo's classes. Gave the student a chance to come clean. I asked him, like, hey, did you do this? He said, no, he played dumb. No, I have no idea what you're talking about. So I said, okay, go down to, your, to the assistant principal. I'm the only black teacher he has. He has six other teachers. No other teachers were involved. Mungo says the student's parents were contacted. He was placed on a two-day suspension and oh, removed no. from Mungo's class. Initially, oh. supposed to be when the parents were contacted, the parents seemed to be truly embarrassed and when the student was suspended and his parents were informed then the parents were irate I was right sickened. i was highly upset so upset i mean I, I took the next day off i didn't go to work that friday what a snowflake now, was in the process of pursuing legal action over the racist act because i'm just fed up with the racism around especially in our um academic institutions you know starting coming from the hbcus and other colleges the bomb threats the nooses, the bananas, oh. and now streaming into public education. It's time to take a stand and just let. And so your stand is to sue a child because he gave you a treat. People know that it will not be tolerated. I know it I'm will be tolerated because there's not shit you can do about it. None of you motherfuckers, dummy. It's dumb. Suspend the kid, whatever. Kick him out of your class, whatever. But all this extra shit just shows how much of a fucking pussy you are. I'm not tolerating it. You, you ain't, speak up. You can't I'm lie. not. I'm not tolerating. He's probably standing there holding his hips like a woman. You know how women do that? Where they, they actually don't hold their hips like this. They reverse their hands. They're, they're weird hoes, right? You know what I'm talking about. Women take their hands, and instead of just holding their hips like this, they do this weird thing where they re invert their hands. That type of shit, right? And I can almost guarantee that's exactly how he's he's standing or sitting as he's saying it. He's got the inverted hands. To go on, because then it will just continue to go on. Michelle Wolf, ten on your side. Oh, big deal. A Newport News public school spokesperson says the district is investigating the report. Investigating a banana. About that racial act. Investigating a goddamn banana. These people have lost their mind. It's a deliberate act. He says he's whining to the news. Look at this little. Come on, man. As gay as the day is long. You know I'm telling the truth. Let's just call it like it is, man. And your snowflakes is fuck. I'm tired. It's just a constant whining, a constant crying, a constant... Just, 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 yeah, yeah, victimization. The kid left you a snack. Was it racist? Probably. Was it uncalled for? Probably. Was he being sarcastic or funny? Yes. 
Should you have disciplined him? Of course. But law, but lawsuits, and telling, and fine, kick him out of your class. But you're going to the newsman about a child. Look at how soft and weak these people are. And you see it all the time. You see, I don't care how many 187s they pull or how many yo-yo-yos they pull or whatever. In real life, they do all of this because they're emotional and soft. Yo, 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 you said something that disrespected me. You're an emotional bitch. You're an emotional bitch. Yo, yo, you said that kid was fat when he fell out of the roller coaster. Yeah, I did. Yo, yo, I'm going to kill you, cracker. Yeah, I get it. You're emotional and a bitch. So even if you did kill me, it doesn't change the fact that you're an emotional bitch. By the way, that still has been unable to cancel me. Just saying. Just saying. Anyways, guys, let me know what your thoughts are on this story. These people are soft. The weak as shit. The left is weak. Certain communities in the left is weak. They're suing kids now for kids leaving them snacks. And these are supposed to be the adults in the room. They're mad and they're suing and kicking kids out of school because the kid left them a treat. You can't make this shit up. This is how soft the so-called men of this generation are because people like me are considered toxic. We got toxic masculinity. This is the new men. This guy right here is the new male suing kids for bringing them snacks. Get the fuck out of here. Eat your aces. So what? Grow up. Earn your paycheck and stop whining like a bitch. That's all this shit is. It's just y'all whining constantly. Why won't you guys like us? We're throwing up the homie G. We're throwing up the homie G. No, we don't like the homie G and we don't like you. Man, if you guys like what I do here and you want to support the channel, the links are down in the description box. You don't have to wait for the live stream to support the channel. Thank you guys in advance. If you guys want to check out some of my other content, I got a shitload of channels. Subscribe to them as backups. Odyssey and Rumble It's where you can find all these videos in case YouTube takes them down, which is likely. I'm JB Gunner. This is JB Gunner TV. I'll see y'all soon. Peace out.